Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today we're gonna to be making a strawberry cream cake. So to begin, we're gonna be making a sponge cake, just a basic sponge cake. It doesn't take a lot of ingredients, but what I am using, some cake flour, eggs at room temperature, a little bit of salt, melted butter that's cooled down, sugar, vanilla extract, and I am using an eight inch round pan. I do have it sprayed real well, and I also floured the surface. Add one tablespoon of sugar and the salt and sift together with the flour onto a sheet of parchment or wax paper. And then push this off to the side. Holding the whisk attachment in your hand, lightly beat the eggs until they become a little bit fluffy. Continue to beat your eggs in the mixer for four to five minutes until your eggs are double in size, double in volume, nice and airy. You'll know they're done when you can take your attachment and make a ribbon across and it will take 10 seconds before that dissolves back in. If you're not quite there, just beat them a little longer. Once you're there, you're gonna add in the vanilla extract. And then continue beating this until it's blended. Remove from your mixer and let's just add about one third of the flour. And with a rubber spatula, we're just going to fold it in because we don't want to deflate these eggs. So once it's folded in, then we're going to add another one third, fold that in and then add the last portion and fold that in. So once that flour is totally blended in, folded in, you'll know because you won't see, you'll see, you won't see the little white specks of flour. And then you're going to add about a cup of the dough into a bowl with the melted butter. Now what I'm going to do with this is gently fold this into that butter, then add this back into the dough and then we're gonna blend that in together by gently folding. You don't wanna deflate the dough, that's what makes it nice and fluffy and spongy. We are going to add this to the baking pan. Bake this at a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 27 minutes. The top will be a golden brown, but it will also be spongy when you poke in on it. Once your cake is cooled, we're then going to slice it in half. Now you can use a serrated knife and go across, or you can make it a little easier and get one of these gadgets. It's a cake cutter. I got it from Wilton. And on the sides, it has these little areas where you can adjust the height. And you just take this, it's a wire across, hold it straight down on a table and just go straight across. And you'll get a nice, even cake. Now we're gonna prepare the cream, which is the best part of the cake. So I have my fresh strawberries and I wanna slice them thinly. So they should be about a quarter of an inch thin slices. Add in some sugar and give this a nice toss until all of the strawberries are covered with sugar. Let this sit for at least 30 minutes, even up to an hour, because the sugars are just gonna pull the juice right out of those berries. In a small saucepan, I have two tablespoons of water and I am sprinkling in my unsweetened gelatin. Let that sit for about five minutes. Turn the oven onto a low heat and just heat this stirring constantly until it's completely dissolved. Remove from heat and let it cool. Now we're gonna make the whipped cream. So I have in my mixer some nice, cold, heavy cream. I'm gonna add in some sugar, some plain Greek, or you can use plain regular yogurt. And you can use sour cream instead of the yogurt if you don't want have, happen to have yogurt on hand or you just don't like it. And some vanilla extract. Beat this until very soft peaks begin to form. 
while the mixer's running, slowly pour in your gelatin and continue mixing until soft peaks form and you have a nice whipped cream. Now we want to assemble the cake. So we're going to take the top half off, start with about half of the strawberries. Now you can see a lot of the liquid really came out of these berries. It's kind of syrupy. I'm going to, I have a slotted spoon and I'm going to try to take, get some of that liquid out because I don't want my cake real soggy. I'm going to put about half the strawberries on the cake. Just layer them around. And you'll notice I'm leaving about an inch border around the sides. Let's grab some whipped cream. We're going to take half of this cream, lay that on top, and we're going to spread this across again just to about a one inch border. And then let's put the top on. And let's add the rest of the whipped cream. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and just let it set for about an hour before I add the rest of the strawberries. Right before serving, we're going to add the strawberries, the remaining strawberries. And you'll notice I put it through a strainer to get off that extra liquid out of it. I don't really don't want the top to be too liquidy. And I am going to just put the strawberries around the top. Be sure to like this video, share it, and subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you all next time.